Hey there, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of getting some cool special effects when you have a low budget. And this can all be done with our free software, uh, Focus and CapCut. So we're going to make ourselves, I'm just going to do a, a sci-fi doorway with hyper-realism turned on. Simple prompt. Um, and this is just for the video. If I was really wanting to do this for production, I would you know, go into a lot more detail. But this is just so I can show you how this works. So we let it run ourselves a door there. That actually looks really good for our first door. So we're going to go ahead and take that over to Photoshop. And I'm going to split it down the middle instead of the up and down. Um, I want it to open side to side. So we're going to trace this entire door out all the way around. And we're going to copy and paste a layer of that door. Then we're going to delete the original layer where the door was and paint it in with green. And then we're going to go to our doors and we're going to split that into two doors. Now we just want to save each one of these layers separately. Um, make sure they're all PNG so they have clear backgrounds. So now we have our doors. We need a hallway that's going to go behind the door. So we're going to go back over to Focus and just change the prompt to, to hallway. And I'll let a couple of them run and see which one looks the best. And like I said, once again, I would go into a lot more detail if I was doing this for a production but this is just for a, a quick tutorial video. I think I like this first one the best, so that's the one we're gonna go with. So we'll go ahead and save these files, and we can close out of Focus if we want. And we're gonna go over to CapCut, and I'm gonna drag in all the things that we just got done making into my uh, editor over here. Now once we have them all dragged in, let's drop these down onto the timeline with the hallway first and the green screen over the top of it. And we're going to jump up into the cutouts and use the chroma key and key that green out. So now we can see the hallway through there. Uh, if you want to play with the, the color controls on this, you can. I'm just trying to give it a little bit more of a dark vibe and just try to bring it to where it matches the doors a little bit better. It's not a great match, but it'll work. Um, so we're going to bring our doors in now one at a time and scale them so that they fit exactly into this opening. Once we have those doors to scale, we're going to drag it out to 10, 12 seconds, somewhere in that area. Then we're going to use keyframes on this. I'm going to start at, uh, you know, zero movement. And then at about one second in, I'm going to give the door a stutter with uh, three short keyframes. And then we'll go all the way to the end of the clip and let the door slide the rest of the way. That gives it a little bit of a punch, like the door pops open before it completely opens. So we'll copy that set up onto the other door here. Once we have both doors in place, you can see as we scroll through that it moves really well. Um, the layers are, the, are out of order here, so all we need to do is just click on these and go over to our Layers tab and uh, assign them the proper layer. We want to make sure it's on the layer that's uh, behind the door frame, but in front of the green screen. And now with that layer in the right place, it's got a nice smooth opening to it. We're going to add a little smoke effect to the door. So when it pops open, it looks like a little bit of steam's breaking loose. Now I'm going to make a duplicate layer of my hallway and place it on top. And we're going to set it to brighten. And then we are going to give it just a little bit of a flicker and, and then tone it way down. So it just gives that hallway just a little bit of ambience. Now we're going to drop in some special effects filters and on top of our tracks here to give everything a more cinematic look. I like to use mist here because it makes it look like when the door is open that that steam is just kind of escaping down the hallway. Then we're going to come along and add a sun glare inside on the hallway. So as the doors are popping open, it looks like the lights are glaring off the lens. I'm going to go along here and put some keyframes to make that go up and down. So it gives you a sense of the, the, the movement of the doors is affecting the lighting. I'm going to come in now and we're going to add a snow effect. And we're going to run that across the whole scene. And we're going to dial that way back on the speed and on the atmosphere. And all that does is it just looks like dust particles are floating in the air. And uh, it looks like they're up close to the camera and getting blurred. We'll give ourselves a little bit of motion to the camera. And 
for this video today. That'll wrap up all we're going to do to it. Now you can make this a hundred times better than this. This was just to show you how the technique works. So I'll show you the little 10 second video here. And if you have any ideas or comments, drop them in the comments down below. And we really would appreciate a like and subscribe so we can get this channel going. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.